Thanks so much for staying with us, taking a live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley SkyCam. Part of the Storm Team SkyCam Network. Quiet conditions, good road conditions here in the Fargo-Moorhead area and across much of the region. It's not till you get in the far north where we do have a few slick spots. 29 degrees at this hour feels more like 20. Winds out of the south and southeast at 10 across the river over in Moorhead. A couple of degrees cooler there for the current temperature of 27. Also 27 in Langdon, 30 in Valley City, 37 down in Sisseton. 28 Detroit Lakes, 21 Bemidji, 19 cold degrees up in Bedette winds. Light. They're going to stay rather light overnight tonight, but then they'll start to pick up out of the south tomorrow, 5 to 15 miles per hour with some stronger gusts. And those winds, enough to create some wind chills as cold as 15 in Thiefer Falls, 13 in Roseau, and 10 up into the Bedette area. A bit of low cloudiness making its way into the Northern Valley, and we'll see some low clouds from time to time during the overnight hours. They're going to get on out of here. We're going to start off tomorrow with mostly sunny skies and then a few more clouds later on in the day. The steadier snow that coated parts of the Northern Valley that has pushed well off toward the east, making its way through parts of Minnesota and Wisconsin, moving on away from our region off towards the west. Some rain showers, maybe even a few rumbles of thunder across the Pacific Northwest. Showers and thunderstorms, some locally heavy rain possible in Florida tomorrow and some rain and snow making its way through Maine. For us overnight tonight, that snow is gone. We're going to see some partly cloudy to mostly clear skies overnight tonight. A cold night, lows in the teens and the 20s, but tomorrow we'll start off with plenty of sunshine, but a few more clouds as the day wears on. But it's not going to stop our temperatures from warming up into the 30s and 40s, maybe even a few low 50s in our western counties. Off in western North Dakota, record-breaking highs likely with highs in the 60s and the 70s. For us, a bit of a cool down. Not going to cool down too much tomorrow night. Most of us will stay in the 30s for overnight lows, but tomorrow morning it will be a cold start to the day, upper teens, but by lunchtime, a nice warm up into the mid 30s. It'll feel a bit colder than that with those southerly breezes out there, but later on in the day, topping out in the mid 40s with a mix of clouds and sunshine. Picture of the day, this from this morning, a sensational sunrise here in the Fargo Moorhead area. Thanks so much to Doris for sending that in. Gonna use that as the backdrop to our seven day forecast for your Thanksgiving day, mid 40s. Even warmer on Friday if you're heading out shopping. Could have to dodge a few raindrops on Black Friday early in the day, but later on in the afternoon, windy and warmer. A brief cool down Saturday into the 30s. Back into the 40s Sunday and Monday. 30s with some snow showers Tuesday, 40s on Wednesday. I hope you all like roller coasters. We do, especially if there's a 51 and a 47. Yeah, as long as we're not talking about negative yeah. 30 to zero, yeah, this right. is much better. Much better, yeah, thanks. You got it.